What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Joe Simons, like diamonds. We are back. This is going to be a fun one. It's all about underwater lure color shifts, in particular, long distance underwater lure color shifts. And, and in a sentence, this means that your lures, depending on the colors that you have chosen, and of course, we're talking more about clear water here, obviously, if you're fishing in completely dark black chocolate brown murky water this is not going to be as prevalent but most of us are fishing in water where you can at least have some visibility your lure can actually change color underwater to the fish now as you've probably heard the whole sentence before that most fishing lures catch more fishermen than fish it is true and, and here's why when you go into a tackle store you are just like overwhelmed with all these different amazing color patterns and how realistic and all this stuff looks. Well, well here's the truth. Most of the stuff that you're seeing in, in terms of what the human eye sees is the complete opposite of what fish are seeing underwater. And many times some of those realistic and crazy looking lures can actually be hurting your chances. And a lot of people have, have said, hey, you know, what's so special about the Slam Shady Lure Color, well, it's based on all of the intel from really these two books or the two main ones that we, uh, that, that we basically use to create this color. And we wanted to keep it simple. We wanted something that was not going to undergo a, a lure color shift, that was going to stay completely the same and that take on the color of the water like white does. We're going to talk about it. So if you're listening in your car or working out, the first book I'm holding up is What Fish See by Dr. Colin Kajiyama, and the other one is The Scientific Angler by Paul Johnson. These two books go into detail, and I mean, we're talking about many, many years of going underwater and actually examining the fish's eye to see what the fish sees, not what a human sees above water. And so I want to share a quick little video here. Hopefully this will work. And this is, this is actually an ad we have going on out there. And a lot of people have asked, hey, well, what is an underwater lure color shift? Like, what is this? It seems really intriguing. And this, this video is working really, really well for us. And what we're doing, I'm just going to be transparent if you don't know our part of our business model. I mean, ultimately, we're a fishing club. We're an online fishing club. That is the foundation of our company. We also do sell tackle. We do sell online courses. But really, the, 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 the foundation of our company is this online fishing club. It's a subscription, it's a membership. And we have now getting close to 15,000 members as I'm recording this with new people joining every single hour now, <laughs> not just every single day. It's literally on the, on the hour new people are, are joining. And it's been really, really cool to, to watch. And what we found is that one of the best ways to get a customer is to do just what Chick-fil-A did. And if you don't know Chick-fil-A's secret, uh, I was living in Atlanta, went to school at Georgia Tech when Chick-fil-A was really starting to, to really boom and, and grow. And Chick-fil-A's entire marketing was the, the time they couldn't really afford to do the, the you know, big Super Bowl stuff and all the college football like they're doing today. At the time, they were small. We didn't really, it wasn't Chick-fil-A in Florida at this, uh, this time. And this was really kind of an Atlanta and Georgia-based company. And what they would do is they would give out it was a, a come dine on us, I think, a, a come join us or on us, something like that. I don't even remember the name of the little uh, car, but it looked like a small little business card, and it was for a free chicken sandwich. It was literally a free sandwich, no strings attached, meaning all you had to do was walk in and show this card, and you would get a free Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. It was amazing, like right? I mean, it was like crazy, and for a college student who didn't have much money, it was like a dream come true, so I'm like trying to get these come dine on us cards every single week. And I would eat Chick-fil-A uh, sometimes five days of, out of the seven in a week, completely for free. And of course, their thinking behind it was they knew they had a good product. They knew that if they could get someone in their store that most likely, you know, some of the cheap college students uh, weren't doing it as, uh, as, as well as they would have liked, but they, they knew deep down that they had an amazing product and that most people would buy a drink or maybe some fries to go with it, or maybe some of their uh, apple pie at the time, their homemade apple pie, uh, and their lemonade, and, and, and ultimately keep coming back and telling their friends about it, which it worked. They had an amazing product, and uh, as you know, 
it, uh, it did really, really, really well. Uh, which is why we all know and love Chick-fil-A uh, right now. So we took the same premise. We said, hey, we know we have an amazing product. Let's give it away. Knowing that a lot of people will buy other things, that a lot of people will join us in our club and tell their friends about it. And so by giving away a free pack of Slam Shady, we know that the majority of people who take a free pack, we obviously track all this stuff. They come back to buy more and or join, and or join us in our insider club where they get everything, including 20% off, all the lures and stuff that they buy going forward. So let me show you uh, this real quick. This is the actual ad. Uh, this is the ad. This is the video. It's about three minutes long. Did you know that Slam Shade is based on one of the only lure colors that doesn't experience underwater color shifts? It's also one of the only lure colors to achieve registered trademark status with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. And no, it's not because Slam Shady has landed a record-breaking 74 different species in just the last 10 months. And no, it's not because Slam Shady has caught well over 100,000 fish in the same 10-month time period. Slam Shady is a registered trademark because its custom color is based on years of underwater research on what fish see underwater, not what fishermen see in tackle stores. For instance, did you know that white is the only lure color that takes up the color of the water? just like a natural bait fish does. And did you know that most non-white lures can actually shift colors underwater due to light refraction and a fish's unique eyesight, literally shifting from one color to another right in front of the fish's face? That's not good. In fact, if you've ever had a game fish nose up to your lure and spook off at the last second, then you might have lost that fish due to an underwater lure color shift. A lure color shift is like having a hamburger shift from brown to neon orange right before biting into it. Disgusting. Don't be that angler losing fish because you used the wrong lure color. Instead, start catching more fish per trip with a proprietary Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lure. Here's why tens of thousands of saltwater anglers are saying this is the most consistent lure they've ever fished with. For what? Slam Shady takes on the color of the water just like a natural bait fish, never going for a negative color shift giving this lure an advantage anywhere you fish. Plus, with the perfect amount of silver and gold flakes infused inside, Slam Shady has flashed just like a real bait fish. Combine this with the side-to-side -side swim patterns and fast-action paddle tail for added underwater vibration. And this lure is tough for a fish to resist. If you want a reliable lure that can help you catch fish fast without changing colors and spooking the fish, this is it. In fact, we're so confident you'll catch fish with these Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures that we'd like to give you a free pack today so you can test them out yourself. We'll even throw in a free video course showing the best ways to rig and retrieve this Slam Shady Lure for more strikes. And if you're wondering why we're willing to give you a free pack but we'd lose money out here, it's because we know that almost every angler we give a free pack to comes back to buy more and eventually joins us in our private online insider fishing club where they save 20% on all of their fishing time. But for now, all you've got to do is click the link to claim your free time. All we ask in return is that you cover the small first-class shipping charge of only 287. Then put these lures to the test when they arrive in your mailbox. However, you must act now as this is a limited time order. Grab your free sample pack now while supplies last. <laughs> Shady, Shady baby. baby. That awesome. So as you saw, this is one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna rewind it. The the burger. That was like the best analogy. If you guys are watching this, you can literally see how this hamburger goes from being, you know, a normal brown looks looks like you want to bite into it to all of a sudden orange. That is exactly what is happening with fish underwater when an underwater lure color shift happens. And so all we did with Slam Shady is we took everything that these books said will work and including, you know, adding a little bit of gold and silver flash and having this white kind of translucent lure. And, and we put it all into one, in one little paddle tail that had the vibration, which is also incredibly important, which I'm going to go into. And it's no wonder the thing is working, right? A lot of people say, well, it's so simple. Well, yes, yeah, some of the very best lures in history have been incredibly simple. And I believe any time that you, that you see some of these lures that, that have taken so much time to make them look realistic and all these crazy colors, uh, don't be shocked why they don't work 
as well. It might be 10 times the price. It's because you don't need all that stuff. Fish aren't that smart. Fish have like literally the, the brain the size of a pea, at least the predator fish that we're catching in inshore saltwater fish and including largemouth bass, they're not that smart. They're, they're very, very predictable. And all they're really doing is they're looking at things instantaneously. I mean, these are predator fish, right? They want to know that it, that it looks and sounds of the, the way it should be. Quick glance, boom. They're not sitting there analyzing the, the, the lure. Uh, however, if something changes out of the blue right before their eyes, that's when it can spook them off. And that's really what this underwater lure color shift is. So I'm going to start with the scientific angler, and I'm just going to read a paragraph here of what he talks about. And if you don't know about Paul Johnson, uh, I, I don't know if Paul is alive now. Uh, you guys might be able to correct me or not. This book has been out of publication. It says here that he was born 1932. So he, there's a very good chance he is not uh, uh, with us anymore. And this was published in 1984. So much of it you know, there's a few things that maybe be off just because back then they didn't have the braided line and stuff that we have today. But in terms of color and all this underwater research, Paul Johnson was a scuba diver and a scientist and a, and a fisherman. And he went underwater and studied different fish and their habitats and what would turn them on off from everything from scent to colors, etc. And then published uh, all of it. But it's amazing how accurate this, uh, this book is. And it's no shock that uh, Berkeley, uh, that he had dedicated this, uh, this book to, uh, to Berkeley and company. Uh, they hired him after you know, they read all this and started hiring him to make, uh, help make uh, and, and, um, and create a lot of their lures and scents, et cetera, based on what he discovered. So let me uh, read this. And he's now underwater. And so as I began swimming towards the lures and lines, their color and visibility started changing. At the 50 foot mark, I could easily spot the lures, but rather than bright orange, they were a dark chocolate brown. So these orange lures that we would see in a store and probably grab our eyes, right? A bright fluorescent orange, they were now dark chocolate brown. I could still not see the lines. He's talking about the mono lines. At the 15 to 20 foot range, the lures shifted back to bright orange while the lines were visible as faint, thin blue threads. At 10 feet, the lines were highly visible and actually seemed to be much larger in diameter as if surrounded by a glowing halo of light. Now imagine the following situation. A fisherman rigs up a fluorescent red colored lure and begins to work reasonably clear water. He makes a perfect cast and can actually see the bass heading towards the lure. At 10 feet away, the fish slows up and then stops abruptly. And for no apparent reason, at the five foot range, it subtly veers off and disappears. Could the lure have looked black when the bass spotted it, attracted by its action, and then shows its true fluorescent red color as he moved in? His senses alerting him that something unnatural was happening. His survival instincts gave him some warning that made him refuse to strike. Once again, fish aren't that smart, but they have the survival instincts. They know when something is not right. And that's exactly what happened here. It says, I suspect that fluorescent colored lures impose a definite handicap. As a diver swimming towards such lures, I consistently saw them abruptly shift from dull to bright glowing colors. The natural critters that live underwater just don't exhibit that behavior. Now, now let that sink in. Maybe go to your own tackle bo uh, bag or your box and kind of envision some of those lures that, that look so good and so intriguing and so bright and wonderful in a tackle store. And, and maybe they haven't performed well for you. Maybe occasionally it does. You know, if, you're, if you are fishing in just completely mud water, it's not going to be as, uh, as, as prevalent here. But if it's just even remotely clear where you can see your lure in the water, you know, underneath you, this kind of stuff happens. And, and as he said, the natural critters that, that everything from bass to snook and redfish and trout are feeding on, they don't exhibit this behavior. They don't have an, an unnatural color shift all of a sudden, right, right as they're attacking it. And, uh, and this hit me so hard, uh, how many times I've had that lure. And then I've, I've spent some money on some expensive lures in the past that I could have sworn were just gonna work. They look so good. They had the most realistic eyes and little pectoral fins and everything looked good and they were bright colors. 
and you just assume that this is going to attract fish. And in many cases, especially if you have any kind of vibration, right? Because if you have vibration like this paddle tail, this is, this is attracting fish from farther away. They have those lateral lines that, you know, within 20, 30 feet of water, they can di uh, detect uh, a, a, you know, what would either be a bait fish or in this case, a, a bait fish imitation that they can, they can actually uh, feel that and sense that coming in the water. So now they're honed in. Let's just say they're 20 feet away. Their lateral lines have picked up this movement from this paddle tail. And all of a sudden, let's just assume this wasn't slam shady. It was a, some bright orange or a red color. And so they're now looking at it. It's going to be dark from that far away, most likely, and depending on the depth and obviously the wavelengths of the light and everything. And then all of a sudden, as they get five to 10 feet away, boom, in an instant, it changes colors. Like, can you imagine looking at, a, let's just say, a, a truck, right? A pickup truck out in the street, and all of a sudden, it's one color from 30, 40 feet away. And as you get closer, all of a sudden, within seconds, not like a gradual shift, it's usually like instantaneous that all of a sudden just changes to bright pink. Like you, 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 you as a human would know something's not right. Like you would be like, all right, what just happened there? It would freak you out. No different than a fish. The last thing they want is their dinner changing color right before their eyes. So this is why this is so critical, especially if you're fishing with any type of lure that has vibration, like a paddle tail or a swim bait or a, you know anything with a with a, a, a spoon on it, perhaps anything that has any kind of vibration and anytime you're fishing and even remotely clear to super clear water, this is really, really, really critical. So I'm now going to go to the other book, What Fish See by our Dr. Kajiyama, which we've talked about him before. Uh, he is an optometrist and, and also an optics expert and a very avid fisherman. And he set out to, to just basically figure out the truth about what fish really see, about what's the perfect lure color, like why some lure colors did well in some waters and, and didn't in, uh, in others. Um, yeah, I'm just giving you a little bit different uh, background, so you stare at my face this whole time. And uh, a couple of things, he actually tells a very similar story, but it was with, instead of a bass, a summer steelhead shot across uh, the, the water towards a small spinner and then all of a sudden, at the last instant, the, the fish pulled back and didn't strike, basically spooked off what happened. And he talks about this, what he calls a long distance color shift. And I'm going to start reading some of the intel here. Uh, let's see. And he does talk about white a lot. He says, you know, white lures tend to take up the color of the, of the water. They're one of the few colors that, that do that. And in muddy water, he does say that it's not as important. And in muddy water, the most visible long distance colors tend to be black and gold. Isn't that interesting? You know, if you think about some of the best bass fishing lures when you're fishing in darker lakes, what comes to mind? I know growing up in the, in the bass world here in Central Florida, one of my very top, uh, top lures, my, it wasn't just a, a plastic worm, was like a black worm, right? Black and basically that dark purple are two of the top selling colors for bass fishing, for fishing dark lakes. So he's spot on there. So it's just the opposite when you're fishing in clear water with salt water. You want to have that white color. And sometimes even, uh, even pink has worked well, but nothing has worked as good as just that white, translucent white with a little bit of shimmer with the gold and, uh, and silver flakes. So here's what he says, when is the long distance color shift important? This is really the, the big question we have to ask ourselves. Okay, if you are fishing with a large lure that has some vibration, and, I, and he's talking about fly fishing before this, so that could be really small. A large lure could be a three-inch bait. So if you're fishing with a large lure that has some vibration, noise, or movement, which is most lures, such as a spinner, plug, jerk chat, et cetera, long-distance visibility becomes very important. Long-distance color shifts have the greatest importance when using large, noisy lures in open, clear water with a water temperature that is in the fish's optimal activity zone, which is the 90-10 zone, right? Which is where we should be fishing. So listen to that again. The, these long distance color shifts are happening and this is when you need to take this into super consideration when using any kind of noisy lures in open clear water like a grass flat, which if you're fishing any kind of grass flat, it's gonna be mostly clear water in most cases with a water temperature that is in the fish's optimal activity zone. 
so, 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 so critical. And he goes on to talk about, uh, you know, red and, and bright orange are two of those colors that do shift the most. And I, I have heard, uh, I have not seen an official study on this, but I've heard from multiple optic experts that have said that redfish and trout in particular uh, uh, have a problem with red doing a, a shift. So red is one of those colors, honestly, I would try to stay away from. But on the other hand, snook seem to be attracted to it, almost like it's um, uh, that red is, uh, that, that they can see it, and almost probably looks like, you know, uh, maybe uh, bloodwood uh, under underwater. So uh, in general, uh, we've been trying to stay away from red, even with, you know, our, our eyes. You can see that's that chartreuse or glow. Do seem to do better. Than, uh, than, than the red in general. Uh, now we've caught plenty of nice fish, especially the snook seem to really like this red uh, eye or the, the jig head, but in general, just going out and catching consistent fish, which is why we created the Slam Shady Lure, this right here, the Slam Shady Paddle Tail, either in the three, three and a half, four or five inch, and we have them coming up with Z-Man. If you guys haven't heard the news, that's um, Z-Man officially put it out there. That's coming out with this kind of ice strike slash Z-Man jig head in either a glow, chartreuse, or pearl seems to be like the, the go-to, the most consistent setup. Regardless if you have it weedless or the Texas eye, et, uh, et cetera. Uh, let me uh, find, there's a couple other pages I wanted to show here. Where is it? Oh, it's th throwing lures that do not go through long distance color shifts like Slam Shady greatly reduces the number of fish that appear to dodge your lure as it drifts down their pathway. And he talks about why this is so important. It is important that the appearance of the lure remains fairly constant at all distances. I have seen steelhead do this to other anglers in the summer all of the time. When he's actually watching a steelhead, basically just tracking down a lure in clear water and then all of a sudden it bolts, it moves away. Uh, let's see, page 37. And I'll, uh, I'll put in the show notes all the stuff that we're, uh, we're talking about here. Uh, when light becomes one colored in deep water, the only uh, color lures which remain bright are those which either match the water color, which are white and or fluorescent colors of a longer wavelength. All the other colors will turn dark. Let's see here, page 35, let's see. Um, 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 um. Uh, color shifts have been photographed in clear tropical seawater at all different depths. Similar color shifts take place in shallow depths in water with significant suspended material, meaning this can happen anywhere. And obviously, the further away the fish is, the predator fish from your lure, the higher the chance this is going to happen. Also, the deeper you are fishing, the, be the better the chance this is going to happen because the deeper you fish, obviously you get different wavelengths, you get uh, less sunlight coming in. Uh, it's, it is tougher for these, uh, these fish to, uh, to see. Um, it was interesting too, one of the, um, let's see, it's page 82. So Bill Herzog, another author on uh, fishing, has said that the only three colors a drift fisherman ever needs are pink, black, and white. And, and, and then that interesting that he's basically, and that's depending on what type of, of, of water clarity they're, uh, they're fishing in. And another uh, place in here, they had mentioned that pink and, and white or slash clear uh, nets were the only nets that these steelhead were getting caught in. All the other ones uh, they use, you know, green, blue, black, et cetera, they could actually see them in water and were going around it, but with pink and white slash clear, they were going into them like they never even saw them, which is interesting. Could be why you see the, really the only two main selling colors for fluoro and mono seem to be that light pink and, you know, and clear slash, uh, slash white, because those are the two that have the highest chance of fish not seeing them. Now that is a topic for an entire other podcast about fishing lines, but in general, the fish is he even talks about i think it was paul johnson talked about in the scientific angler fish can see your fishing line your leader line uh, there are some that are less visible than others and we're doing some experiments on that but if you can see it in the water right below you which you can by the way you can certainly see your fluoro and mono on camera 
underwater on a GoPro. I mean, you can see it clear as day the closer you get to it. As uh, Paul Johnson said, it almost seemed like the closer he got, it was getting thicker and thicker in diameter and almost had like a, a, a brightness around it. However, you know, these fists, once again, are, are not that smart. And they're just looking at more in particular the bait than what's around it. There's always sediment and stuff around it. These fish are honed in. And when they're zeroed in on the bait, that's what they're paying attention to. I mean, it's the reason why, you know, many, many fish have been caught with a swivel on it, right? Or even this hook that's sticking up. I think it's so funny that, you know, that, that some fishermen get so enamored with, hey, what kind of fluoro or mono should I have? And they'll pay so much money for all this fluoro trying to make it invisible. And I mean, there's a hook sticking out of the lure, right? I mean, you think the fish would see that, but once again, they're honed in on the overall bait. Does this look right? Does it smell right? Is it swimming right? Is it putting out the right vibration? And making sure it's not going through some crazy last minute underwater color shift. So that is it. I wanted to share that with you because it's come up a lot from this ad that we've been playing out there on both Facebook and uh, YouTube. And of course, if you haven't claimed your free pack of Slam Shady, you can go to slamshady.com. Uh, all we ask is that you just claim one pack. We have had a few people that take advantage of it. We now have a system in place to prevent that. And uh, you will not get your money back and we will not send it to you if you try to take advantage of it. We had some people who, uh, one guy who tried to get about nine free packs. And we caught on to it and uh, have since penalized him. So please just be honest with it. You know, we lose money on this. As I said, the same reason Chick-fil-A was willing to. We know we have an amazing product. And we know that the majority of you do come back to buy more. And eventually join us in the Insider Club where you save 20% off everything from all the best rods, reels, line, lure, terminal tackle, et cetera. And as I mentioned, Z-Man did announce that they are licensing Slam Shitty. So we own Slam Shitty. That was a color that we created, we trademark with uh, the US, USPTO with the Patent and Trademark Office. So Slam Shady is wholly owned 100% by Salt Strong. And Z-Man now is licensing this color from us. And we're hoping by Labor Day around there that we will have all of the Z-Man Slam Shady baits back. And, and not just in the paddle tail, but some other molds as well. That is all I can tell you. But um, I think we had, yes, yeah, so we had the, Slam Shady Minnow Z, which is this three inch one. We had it in the Diesel Minnow Z, which is their four inch. And we had it in the five inch Scented Paddler Z, which is their five inch, their big boy. So we had it in those three. And we're going to be adding two to three more uh, right there uh, somewhere, uh, hopefully once again, on or after Labor Day in September, which is coming up fast. It's crazy to think the summer is almost gone. What a, what a wild one, right? Uh, but, so that's really exciting news. In the meantime, we still have the Slam Shady uh, 2.0s, and we're always coming up with, uh, with, with new things. Now, you might be wondering, uh, hey, well, what was the deal with uh, Alabama Leprechaun? That, that's clearly not a clear one. Well, that was for fishing super, super shallow waters where that lure color shift is not going to be uh, as, as critical, and also for fishing some, some darker uh, water. I just got back recently from Brunswick, Georgia. We were fishing some areas with some really dark, murky water. And it turned out that the Alabama Leprechaun was, was the top performer for the day. Uh, it, it still has that flash of gold, but also dark enough and kind of blends in with, uh, with the water. So this Slam Shady is not the end-all be-all. Uh, I know it, it's funny. It's kind of got a name for itself just because it, it is at like 70, I think it's 77 or 78 different species now. That's not including all the different sharks uh, that, that we just put shark as one species. Uh, so it's probably closer to 85 or 90. Uh, it, so it has it has gained a lot of attention and is probably one of the top selling color paddle tails in the country, if not the top selling. And it's certainly just catching more fish just because it it does everything we talked about. It doesn't shift colors. It's the, one of the most natural looking baits. It is going to take on the color of the water just like natural bait fish do. And it's a reason this thing is done so incredibly well. Uh, but we do like Alabama Leprechaun, and we're always testing out new things for different scenarios. But if you just want a lure that is consistent, that you can use pretty much anywhere just to get strikes, if you're just trying to get tight lines, I, I can't think of a better bait than the Slam Shady. Whether you get the three and a half, the four, the four, uh, uh, or three, three and a half, four, five, et cetera, it, it, it 
a lot of it's going to be just matching the hatch. I can't tell you there's always going to be one that's going to be the best. I like this three to three and a half just as my, my search bait. It's what I start with 99% of the time. This is what Luke and I are both starting with just to make sure there's fish in the area. We know we can get a strike with, uh, with this bait. So once again, if you haven't claimed your free pack, go to slamshady.com. Otherwise, if you want to buy more and see all the cool things that we have, go to our shop page. That's fishstrong.com. We've now changed the shop page to keep it super simple at fish strong.com and of course if you're an insider member you get 20 percent off every single thing in the store and our store is really unique in that we are only getting the best stuff we do not ever want to be a bass pro i think bass pro does a disservice to a lot of fishermen by just having a ton of junk in there the majority of stuff in bass pro you do not need it is not that good of a product you do not need an entire aisle of jig heads so we want to simplify it and give you the stuff that truly works the best. We never ever want to go down that path of having a million SKUs just to say we're the largest tackle you know, group out, out there. Once again, I think that is such a disservice and it's why so many different lures and jig heads and all this stuff catches more fishermen than does fish. We want the stuff that is going to help you catch fish and I know you do as well and that's what you're going to find in our store. So that is it guys, gals, Thank you so much for all the love, all the support. I hope this was helpful. Hope this addressed a question I know that has come up quite a bit with this underwater lure color ship. And hit me up with, with questions. My email, joe, J-O-E, at saltstrong.com. I'd love to hear from you and any other questions you have on this. I do not even pretend to be an expert. I will say that I am pretty well read on all this and constantly reading uh, new books uh, about fishing, both some of the older books and the newer books, just trying to always learn. And, uh, and, and it is really, really cool what has already been done out there in terms of underwater research, which is why this Slam Shady has done so incredibly well as a color. So that is it. I am out of here. Peace.